What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how to solve this trig equation. And the trig equation is 3 cosine squared theta minus 2 cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0, and theta must be between 0 and 2 pi. First thing I want to do is, this is the quadratic equation, I need to solve it by factoring, so I'm going to use AC method. AC method is multiply 3 and negative 1. And this coefficient is negative 2, so it means that we are looking for two numbers. Multiply to negative 3 and add to negative 2. So that will be negative 3 and positive 1. Because when you multiply them, it's negative 3. When you add them, it's negative 2. Therefore, I'm going to have here, re rearrange it, 3 cosine squared theta. Instead of negative 2 cosine theta, I will write negative 3 cosine theta plus cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. So instead of 3 terms here, I have 4 terms. Now I want to do group factoring, these two and these two. Group factoring here, we have 3 cosine squared minus 3 cosine theta. I factor 3 cosine theta. Divided by that is going to be cosine theta minus 1. And here I have cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. Then I have, I'm going to factor cosine theta minus 1. And here it will be 3 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. Then cosine theta minus 1 equals to 0. And 3 cosine theta plus 1 equals to 0. So cosine theta equals to 1. And here, if we solve it, if we isolate it for cosine, that will be negative 1. When you divide both sides by 3, it's going to be negative 1 over 3. Now, if you want to solve it, cosine theta equals to 1. So theta is going to be 0 and 2 pi. Between You're looking for between 0 and 2 pi. So cosine of 0 is 1, cosine of 2 pi is 1 as well. What are the answers for here? Cosine theta equals to negative 1 over 3. If you put it in the calculator, you're going to get 1.91 radian. That's based on the cast rule. We can say that cosine is negative in quadrant 2 and also quadrant 3. So we have 2 and 3 here. So we have pi minus theta equals to 1.91. And we need to also find out pi plus theta. So then I need to find it for theta. Theta is going to be 3.14 then minus 1.91. That will be 1.23. So then... I need to add it here. Pi is 3.14 plus 1.23. That will give you 4.37 radian. So the answers we have is 1.91 and 4.37. So these are the answers when cosine is negative 1 over 3. And why? Because we have in quadrant 2 and quadrant 3 cosine is negative. So two answers in here and two answers in here when cosine theta is equal to 1. So in total, these four answers, I can write 0, 1.91, 3.4.37, and also 2 pi, which is going to be 6.28. So we have these four answers for these three equations. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave... Some more related videos and playlists in the description. If you need more help and need more practice questions, please take a look to the description. Please don't forget to subscribe this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding math and science. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching and have a great day.